hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Walker Wall Street. Uh, just got Hut Group open at the minute. Um, just been looking at uh, short selling activity. So that's an interesting one. Of course, Matt Moulding, the boss there, has been calling short sellers bank robbers. Well, uh, he would know, I would say. Um, elsewhere in the markets, uh, NASDAQ higher by ooh, two thirds of one percent uh, there today. Tech 100 up half a percent. Um, S&P trying to recover 4.7, not quite doing it. Just a nice pullback potential further bearishness if that crosses over there. FTSE doing well, up handsomely, 73.75 now, uh, making a new post-pandemic high. So that's really positive moves on the FTSE today. Uh, German index, the DAX, uh, was up at a record high earlier today as well. So European markets, record highs, US just off the record high, and UK um, holding on to post power making a new post pandemic high so all looking pretty good for risk um, elsewhere though at fx we've seen the dollar strengthen and uh hold on to those gains today you can just see a big fall for the euro yesterday off the back of those very hot inflation readings bearish crossover as well um they are uh, holding on to gains well the dollar's holding on to gains cable's got a 33 handle trying to recover the 34 handle but struggling and just uh, a bit of indecision today as you can see we're just on yesterday's close uh, as we speak right now um disney shares are weaker it missed uh, earnings expectations um and then we need to check in of course on our favorite uh tesla uh which is just off a touch today after it was confirmed that elon musk has offloaded about five billion dollars in stock in the uh, over the course of the week uh, so far, uh, commodities gold has rallied strongly off the back of that inflation print, but just not quite recovering yesterday's peak. Still looking pretty good. Uh, crude oil uh, a bit firmer today. Really gave up the 20-day moving average yesterday. It's quite a nasty decline that just really wiped out that that previous day's solid candle. Now we're just sitting on the bottom of the Bollinger there. So um, finding some support at the bottom of that uh, at the bottom of the, that, that Bollinger band. Um, for crude, silver um, is up um, nicely again today. Frisnillo doing well on the FTSE as a result of that. Uh, some big moves on the FTSE today, actually. We've seen Auto Trader um, up strongly. Johnson Mathy down strongly. Uh, well, down badly. It was uh, it's pulled out of its EV battery business. Uh, so lots happening in the market today. Uh, Bitcoin uh, trades a little bit firmer after yesterday's pullback. Uh, just sitting around that $65,000 level at the moment. So lots going on. Remember, it's Veterans Day. So remember, uh, November 11th, of course, um, uh, Armistice Day. Um, so the U.S. market is a bit quieter, maybe. Uh, it's not a stock market holiday, but it is a holiday for banks. So there's no data releases today and uh, everything's fairly steady. That is it for the moment. We'll have more later. Thank you.